What's going on YouTube fam? Thank you for joining me for yet another Gran Turismo Sport video. Now, I know it's been a little while since I brought you guys one of these daily races. It's been very crazy on my side, but nevertheless, we've got another daily race B for you guys. This time at the legendary Spa Francorchamps. Oh my goodness, what an awesome track. We are in group four cars today and I am in the McLaren 650S starting in sixth place um, the car feels really good around this track to be fair really really nice so three two one lights out away we go and how's about that for a starting spot in a rolling start right in the middle of the bus stop chicane honestly speaking rolling starts at this track are trash because they just spread the field out so much that you hardly ever get proper um close racing throughout the field all right but in this particular race i'm actually going to be showing you guys a bit of a battle between a fellow mclaren driver and it's actually the dutchman who is starting in fifth place so as we come onto the camel straights um about nine and a half tenths down on fifth place already almost three seconds ahead of the spanish driver in in seventh and it just shows you how much the field gets spread out because of the bus stop chicane when it comes to those rolling starts so um through lecom managed to bring the gap down to just under eight and a half uh, tenths of a second we have one or oh, two penalties ahead of us in third and fourth so there is a chance there is a chance that we may see um that we may see a few overtakes maybe a couple of guys dropping back because of those penalties and then maybe we can make up some places now we're going to skip it forward just a little bit here coming into campus and the gap has been holding steady it's been hovering around eight tenths to about 1.2 but we're going to see the dutchman here have a massive moment putting it into the wall he actually does well to keep the car going he doesn't bog down too much but that's going to allow me to get right up the back side of him here as we um, take the run down to Blanchimont. Now I'm going to look for um, a move up the inside here. There was a little bit of contact between us which kind of stunted my momentum a little bit. But as we come through Blanchimont here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and stick with him as much as I can. I have to lift off the throttle. We both run really, really wide. Is there an opportunity for me up the inside of the bus stop? Not quite. We're both really mega on the brakes. We both run a little bit deep into... Uh, the chicane actually and as we end lap one still in sixth place uh, managed to open up the gap to over four and a half seconds to the driver in seventh and it's it's now just trying to an trying to affect a move on this dutchman now through the source i keep taking that corner really well to be fair um it's always the case in certain on certain tracks certain corners you just you hook them up a lot better than others through the source not quite the best um, corner for being in the slipstream i did lift off ever so slightly we have the drivers ahead of us in third and fourth saving those penalties i'm going to look for the strips uh, the slipstream as we come down the camel straight here am i far enough or close enough to affect the move coming up the inside of lake Com? i'm going to look for a move it's up it's a very late move a little bit of contact i get it done in the initial phase a bit more contact he gets back up into fifth place and i just i just lose out of securing that fifth place we we did leave each other the space to be fair it was clean racing as much as my overtake um was a bit of a lunge a bit of a late move he did leave the door open so i just decided to carry that momentum through and as we come past here oh i just run wide get stuck up on the astro and that's going to allow the dutchman limbo limbo howard i think his name is as is going to allow him to to open up the gap the gap ever so slightly um as we head into campus for the second time so we're going to skip it forward to the end of lap two very uneventful nothing happened towards the end of the lap the gap still eight tenths of a second now the source nail it perfectly once again managed to make up a couple of tenths on him in that one corner alone he does get good traction though so he opens up the gap but i'm not too sad about that because if he's far enough from me coming into orouge then i'm able to take orouge flat 
without having to lift and that's exactly what I managed to do he actually has a bit of a moment at the top of a rouge and as we come onto the camel straight you can see just how much more speed I have um, onto the camel straight he's placed his car in the middle of the track I'm going to have to go for the outside here can we get it done late on the brakes a little bit of contact bumping and grinding I'm gonna keep it up the inside here we're both sliding around we're still giving each other the room and he just about manages I tried to I tried to put a cut back on him here as we came out of Lecom but there was a bit of contact my momentum was stunted once again and I need to fall in line back in sixth place now we need to keep it close can I get this corner right again no I slide wide up on the astro turf once again the gap to the driver in seventh place has now dropped to under three and a half seconds because me and uh, limbo have been battling over the past few corners but can i make up any time can i make up any time in this final um, final few corners coming through campus honestly speaking the the 650s is a really nice car it's it, it handles really well um it feels very balanced because it's a mid rear wheel drive car the balance is there you can play around with your brake balance a little bit to get the car to oversteer or understeer depending on the characteristics of the track but the 650s is a really good car for this particular race the jaguar f type is also a good shout and then your normal contenders the uh, peugeot rcz and the the audi tt are always going to be good group four cars but as we come through blanchiment for the final time uh, limbo has managed to open up the gap to nine and a half tenths and as we come into the bus stop chicane for the final time there's just nothing i could have done um to get the move done eventually but what a what an awesome race um really really close racing between the two of us you could see that both cars were evenly matched in all of those scenarios and in the end we didn't make up any positions but it was a good race nonetheless if you guys enjoyed it make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos thank you so much for watching guys peace